Can Border Patrol take away your lawful permanent residency? I'm immigration attorney Jonathan Mendoza, and for years I have helped people in their immigration cases. Two weeks ago, I had somebody contact me via social media, and his story was the following. He is a lawful permanent resident from the United States. He left the country, went to Mexico for a turnaround trip. Upon coming back to the border, he was informed that he had an arrest warrant out of state. And for that reason, there is a strong chance that they were going to arrest him so these officials can come pick him up. So of course, in his mind, he got scared. And he said, just give me back my paperwork. I'll stay here in the United States. And so he at that point believed, based on what they were telling him, that he lost his residency. And he was depressed. And what made it worse is that he contacted an attorney who told him just that. That in fact, he did lose his residency and his best bet was to start all over. Regardless that he was a lawful permanent resident, regardless that there wasn't any formal finding that he was deportable, to start over, he said. Well, fortunately, he saw one of my videos and he contacted me. And we spoke via social media and then eventually over the phone. And I explained to him that the advice that he received was completely wrong. He's a lawful permanent resident. He needs to present himself to the border because, first of all, that offense that he was arrested for is not a deportable offense. But number two, more importantly, is that Border Patrol can't make that final decision that you're no longer a lawful permanent residency. Now, Border Patrol can initiate removal proceedings against you. They can actually take away your green card and give you a notice or say that in the mail you're going to receive what's called a notice to appear to go before an immigration judge. But it's the immigration judge who makes a determination as to whether or not you get to keep your residency, not Border Patrol. Another common situation where people lose their residency, they themselves give it up. They say, I no longer want to be a resident. They're presented with a form, they sign, that's it. You gave up your residency. And those are the two common situations. But other than that, a Border Patrol agent, when you present yourself at the border, can't not simply say you're no longer a resident, now you're stuck in the United States. But here is a big caveat. If you've been arrested for drug sales, trafficking, cultivation, then an immigration officer, Border Patrol, can make a determination that you're not admissible, that they have reason to believe that you're involved in drug trafficking. And that is a ground of inadmissibility. And for that reason, you can be stuck. So if you've never been arrested for those type of situations, you shouldn't leave the United States. But other than that, an arrest alone cannot necessarily lead to you being deported. It is through a finding, a formal finding from an immigration judge. So this gentleman now is back in the United States, obviously very grateful that he has that opportunity. He's going to handle that warrant out of state that doesn't make him deportable and he doesn't have to start from scratch just like a attorney had advised him. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me because believe it or not, this is actually very common. People believe that uh, the, the fact that they've been arrested for a crime or convicted for a front crime or their residency expired, therefore they lose their residency and that's just not always the case. Any questions, let me know.